Now we're gonna take our spoon, go in our pudding mix, and mix it up a little one last time. And then we're gonna begin to grab spoonfuls of this. Yo, what's good YouTube? It's Cloud K. And Cloud J. With our very first episode of Chef K and Chef J. And today, we'll be teaching y'all how to make banana pudding from scratch using cream cheese, condensed milk, pudding mix, milk, whipped cream, vanilla extract, and bananas, bananas, and wafers. So the first ingredient we're gonna use is the Philadelphia cream cheese. You wanna get, what is this? Eight ounces, an eight ounce box. You're gonna cut it open, take the whole thing, and throw it in to the bowl. Harder. Then, you're gonna take your, your mixing appliance, put it on medium. Actually, put it on low. So you can get this in the video. And begin to mix it. Bless this beat. That's a fool now. That's a fool now. Yo. Next, you're gonna want to open your can of sweetened condensed milk. Be careful when opening it. Peel that back, and you're gonna pour it in here. Pour the whole thing. Let it all come out. Start to mix it back up. No, 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 no. Up early in the morning trapping. Trap, trap, you can get them on your asking. Ask. How many chickens you can get them whichever way. So now we're going to take our jello uh, mix, our vanilla pudding mix, instant vanilla pudding mix. That's you have to make sure you get that. This is about six and a half cup serving package. You're gonna pour it right in. I'm not gonna pour it all in yet because I don't want it to be too thick, but I'm gonna pour it all in. I'm in love with the cocoa. So of course I'm in that cocoa. Start mixing it. Start sticking up the mix. So I can see that's not enough. I'm gonna take some more. The cocoa. Trap turns Zaxby's Zax. I beat the pot with a passion Beat it up Hundred acres on the mansion Man. My dab in the latest fashion Beat it up Need a call casting Yeah Hey, hey Put the backers in the back Back Drinker on me, it's attached Tats Name a nigga with the pack Pack Name a nigga with the sack Sack I let my clock, I got And now I'm just putting the bottom layer of the vanilla wafers. Then on top of it, I'm gonna put the bananas that you saw me cutting up earlier. Then we'll have the first layer be complete. Thank you. The Mac, Mac, she eat the molly like a snack. Eat it up, it's gold on my nickel black, black. Bend no shades, rib shack. Eat it up, rock the floor, get me tack, sack. Sit the lean and relax. Say it up, rock the lamb in the back. Skr, skr. Big dog, you a cat, cat. Rich in the Mac, black. Skr, skr. Twenty hundred to be exact. Yeah. I need ten, that's a dime. Wanna nickel, that's a five. Yeah. Wanna fly, wanna slide, wanna glide. Ain't got time. Yeah. Put a thirty on my nine, four. And now, if you look, you can see that we have. Our pudding mix down to the very last part. We're going to stand out some. See the texture moves right through the milk. Stir it. Stir it out a little bit. And if you look at Jules' section, she has the vanilla wafers with the bananas layered on top for the first layer. We 
put our um, put we put our pudding mix over that. We put our pudding mix over that, and then for the next layer, we continue to add wafers and bananas, wafers and bananas. So there's one at each level, and we typically get two three levels. So when you cut through it, you have at least two three levels of wafers and pudding in between to give you a nice layer. And now that we've gotten the milk added into the product, we'll add Cool Whip for an extra um, additional flavor. It's all up to preference. Some people don't like it with whipped cream, some people do. So you can add some Cool Whip to it. I usually get a spatula. Did you pass me a spatula? Bro? I usually get a spatula. And I take out at least, I take out about half of the whipped cream. So I'll go right down the middle like this. Middle, and then place it right in like this, and then just like the other things, I put it right through. And I start to mix. mix in. For the check, check. I'ma only get the mouth. I put a lemon crosser on the. I pulled up for at the bits. Walk and go, y'all got a bet for my bitch. Won't get a kiss, cause I know you so Spend you a hundred for leap on your wrist. 25 on us, one fist. Point. 25. Now, our pudding mix went from a, a stick of cream cheese to a mix of like this jello y kind of section. Or black. Uh, it doesn't matter. We'll take a little piece of this out, taste it. Let me have a little taste. It's good. Um, get Bill and Dakari a spoon so they can taste some. It's gorgeous, I guess. Might have to mix it up a little bit more. It's gonna taste good, but it's still kind of thick, so I'm gonna mix it some more. Mm -hmm. Tastes good? Still thick, but yeah. Add a little more milk and mix it a little bit more to take out that thickness so that whenever we put it in the pan, it'll spread easier. So I'll get back to y'all after I do that. Okay. The next final touch you're gonna add to your pudding mix is pure vanilla extract. Pure vanilla extract. You're gonna take this. This is very strong, so you don't wanna put a lot of it. It's gonna mess up your pudding. You're gonna take it and I'll put it in, in a cap. Not a cap, but I'll just put like literally this much. I'll drop it in there like that. I'll do one more of those like that much. Drop it in. May not look like a lot, but trust me, it does a lot. So we're gonna mix it up. Like this. Put it on the bottom. Mix it in. And now we have this amazing texture of our pudding mix. See how it just runs off the mixer? That's how you wanna have it. And now we're gonna layer it into our bowl. All right, so now we're gonna take our spoon Go in our pudding mix, mix it up a little one last time. And then we're gonna begin to grab spoonfuls of this and add it on top of the layer mix that Jewel made for us. It's not gonna spread at first, it has to have a foundation. So I'm gonna add this, some more of this in there. You can spread the top a little bit. We'll spread it more once we get more in there. Add some more in there. more start spreading a little bit and I'll get back to y'all once we have the first layer done all right so we got our first layer done we got the wafers and bananas layered with pudding and now Jewel will take the bag of wafers and begin to layer the second layer like so. We'll take wafers and place them in place around the bowl. She's gonna do that. She's gonna, she has bananas chopped up already. She's gonna put them on top of those. I'm gonna continue to stir this. And once she has that layer done, I'm gonna add that. I'm gonna add this pudding mix to the layer and we're gonna repeat that process. So rather than showing y'all the whole process, I'm gonna skip to when we're done at the end and when we're um, decorating the top of it. And I'll get, I'll get back to y'all then. All right, so we used our uh, last layer of availability for the big bowl, and we got our pudding mixed up here. 
So we've gotten three layers fixed in. There's bananas uh, and vanilla wafers in between each layer. And what I always do, you can't really taste it when you're eating it, but to top off my mix, I always take the, the end of the bag of wafers. I take the, the crumbs from the bottom, you know, just take them, crunch them up a little, even more sometimes if they're bigger and just drizzle them on top of the uh, pudding mix. So I'll just keep doing that all around the top. This is more, like I said, this is more for presentation than it is for anything else. So I drizzle it like that. It'll look like this. You can put more if you want to. Like I said, it doesn't affect the taste. So you can just continue to put it if you want. Give it a more stylish presentation in the dish. Doesn't really matter how it looks though. You put it like that and your dish is made. And now we'll come over here. Grab the lid. Place it on top. And then it's time to go in the fridge. We're gonna leave this in the fridge overnight because it is Christmas Eve and we're gonna eat it tomorrow for dessert after the Christmas dinner. So yeah, that's it for that. So yeah, that's how we make our, that's how I make my famous banana pudding recipe. Everybody that I've given it to has fallen in love with it. So I hope that y'all can try that out. Show your friends, family. Um, let me know if y'all liked it, if y'all tried it. Let me know if y'all enjoyed the video, if y'all want more Chef K, Chef J videos. And yeah. Um, that's it for this video. I wish y'all Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, whatever you guys celebrate. And we will be, I will be attempting to vlog tomorrow's Christmas celebration. So the dinner, the present opening, everything, the NBA games, all that I'm going to try and, uh, I'm trying to record that for a vlog. If I can, I apologize, but I will try and get that for y'all. I appreciate y'all for coming out to the video. I know this is probably pretty long, longer than I wanted it to, but I hope y'all enjoyed it. Thank y'all for showing the love. Like, comment, subscribe if you're new. And it's been Clout K and Clout J. And until next time, peace. I could never change, though. I could never change, though. For this life, for this life. I could never change. All my family and my bros, I would never change. I would never change. How could